Hi there guys, today I'm going to be talking about The Enforcer, starring Clint Eastwood. This is the third um, film in the Dirty Harry series. Uh, still number two to watch, so I've watched two, no I've watched three now. I've got another two to watch. So yeah, um, a film called The Gauntlet is out, I'll just show you that. Um, it's Clint Eastwood film, haven't actually seen it all in all, it's on the TV, as you can see. Um, I know Flick Pit got it on Blu-ray and he said it was a really good movie and all, but uh, yeah, I've seen the ending and watched it all. Alright guys, so yeah, The Enforcer. Really, really like these Blu-rays because they come with a really, really cool front cover. And it's like Clint, Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry with his like, massive uh, Magnum 44 going through a glass. About to shoot so much, really cool. So here's the front. <coughs> Side. Really, really not a big fan of these sizes, as I said. <coughs> it just says Clint Eastwood in white and then the red. Of the title of the film, you can't even see it pretty in your collection. That's probably why I got the box it because it really stands out. And then the back, so you have uh, two pictures here. You have one of the rookie cop, um, who is what's her name, uh, Tyne Daly, and Clint Eastwood uh, interrogating um, one of the guys in this uh, movie, where um, basically they're like a prostitution ring, and he's like. Yeah, so yeah, there's this 18, open this up, and I really, really like another thing about these Blu-rays, they all have um, different disc art for each film, and this one's just Clint, uh, then you can see the San Francisco Bridge. Alright guys, so, uh, let me just talk about the movie, basically The Enforcer, uh, it doesn't really kick off from Magnum Force, I think there was like a five or three year hiatus between the two films, uh, 1976 this one. So basically, it starts with two cops, and they see this uh, hitchhiker slash prostitute brings her to this place. This um, and then she goes in. This guy with this knife goes and kills uh, both the cops, and there's uh, and then it just hits this massive kind of like aerial shot of San Francisco. Um, then after that, Clint Eastwood is or Dirty Harry. <laughs> I, I just call him Clint because you know he is Clint Eastwood, isn't he? Uh, after that. Pretty much what happens is there's a bank robbery. He just charges like fifteen thousand dollars to the city of San Francisco, but he, he does the job. He saves the people's lives. Um, and the basic plot line is a group of terrorists. Uh, they break into a firearms uh, building. They steal loads of rocket launchers, M16s, all the weapons, uh, and want like five million dollars from the city of San Francisco and the mayor to not commit crimes and to get away with it. So yeah. Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I couldn't say I expected loads from it because, well, I mean, Magnum Force and Dirty Harry are great films. I think this isn't, I think this is like the weakest out of the lot, but, but by no means a bad film. I think I really, really did enjoy it. It has some really good action set pieces. A bit short, it's only 97 minutes, so just out, just about under or over an hour and a half, so it's not really that long. I mean, the other films are. Well, actually, no, because Dirty Harry is about an hour and 40 minutes, but then Magnum Force is like two hours, uh, so yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. it Pitch Cotty was really nice. I really annoyed me, though, um, is this black grain in all of these. I mean, I thought it was a Dirty Harry film because it's quite, um, quite old, isn't it? But it does actually have it with this, this really stupid black grain, and you can't really see much, but in the light, when it's like light, the picture just looks so good. Obviously, the sound is great. Um, I really like the ending with the whole Alcatraz, um, like when they, they, they hijacked the mayor and then, um, for some reason his partner in this was a woman, Time Daly, and, um, yeah, like at the end them two go to Alcatraz to try and, um, say the mayor. I really, really like that, the, the ending. I love how the endings in all these films are just like, um, an aerial shot of just filming Dirty Harry and it has, and it, all throughout the film is really actually, but then at the end, it's just like a really, like, kind of... Do, do, do. That really, really kind of dramatic music, and it's just really, really awesome. Yeah, really like this one. A very rewatchable film. Uh, yeah, The Enforcer. Really like that one. Uh, join me for a sudden impact review. Alright, guys, thanks.